My name is Mark Spellman. I've just finished my At The Table lecture for Murphy's Magic, featuring some of my latest creations. Shuffle the cards for me. Cut off a portion of cards and hand them to me. And I want you to notice now, um, I'm gonna get you to just have a little look down at that card for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pop, pop it back down on top. Yep. I'm gonna ask you one question. Do you see the mate of your card in this spread of cards? I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. Just uh, think of the card for me, of your card, and also the mate as well, because I'm not gonna go for your card because it's shuffled up inside the pack. I'm gonna go for the mate of your card here. Uh, okay, what was the mate of your card? Ten of clubs. Ten of clubs is the one card that we end up with. Oh. Ten of clubs. Um, along with three versions of the uh, card at any number. However, there was one deck that you decided not to use at the very beginning, and that was the green deck of cards, right? So, Sarah, what I'm going to ask you to do is to, I'm, and I don't want to touch the cards either, so can you open the green deck of cards for me, remove the cards from the box. And remember, these were shuffled at the beginning as well, again, creating a completely um, new uh, order of cards. Quick question, did you show Sarah the card or is it only existing in your mind, right? Okay. So, Sarah, we're going to deal away the number of cards that you, the number that you've got in your head. So you're going to deal those cards away face down on the table for me, and I'll give you the chance to do that. Are we good? Okay, so we've dealt those cards away. There's one card face down on top of that packet. Now remember this, you created a random number, you cut to a random card, uh, and both decks were shuffled up at the very beginning. Can you name your card out loud, what was it? Ten of Hearts. Ten of Hearts, and Sarah, can you turn over the very top card of the pack, and it should be the Ten of Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Hours of real world working material that I have used, along with loads of anecdotes and stories. Um, so what's gonna happen, I'm gonna ask you to focus on someone, someone's name, first name only. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. I'll turn away, write their name down. Can you take the card off and fold it up and stick it in your back pocket? Mm-hmm. Done. I'm going to say that this uh, is in some way related to, to your work. Yeah, that's... Yes, yeah? it is. Okay. Yeah. The first letter of their name, can you visualise a physical action that you could do? So with this first letter, is there a physical action that if I said to you, can, can you do yeah. this, you yeah. can think of a physical action to do with yeah. that? You, you can make up a word from that first letter. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Okay, the second letter, can you think of a food, a fruit or something like that that begins yeah. with, yeah? Yeah. The physical action, what was the physical action you were thinking of? Jump. Jump, so I'll show you the, the physical action is jump. So if, if I've got this right, then I know where this is going. The food was? Apple. Apple. Are you thinking of Jack? <laughs> You're thinking of Jack, four letters, yeah, yeah Jack, lovely. All yeah. right, great. Yeah. Okay. That is great. So join me for my at the table lecture. I will see you there.